Hey, hello everybody. My name is Sam, aka Samster, and today we have a very cool, very old treat for you guys. This is a 1947 Wizard Model H. It still has the original Wizard tag on this side. Nice old sticker. Got the original Coke bottle grips. These are hard as a rock now. The frame itself, I'm pretty sure was a Columbia. Um, please, if you guys know immediately, uh, like a way to tell maybe these front forks and something give it away. I'm not sure uh, Give me a give me a uh, Answer if you got it. It's got the original tires. I'm pretty sure on it. It's those very square tread kind of uh, Tires they're also hard as a rock and you can literally peel them off. It's amazing The thing is it's got so much history in it. Look at it. I mean it, it's so original It was really cool too because I've discovered multiple things about it uh, like here, this is all reinforced. This is all extra rod welded on the frame. So whoever had this really cared about, you know, making this a nice little motorbike. And see this bar has obviously been modified so we could fit the engine. It's all just welded up very, very nichely, you know. And the seat's all original. It's got the, the coil spring seat, which is all... I mean, this is rubber here, but everything else is just worn out. Of course, the pedals are gone, you know, stuff like that, but it's it's pretty damn cool. So The engine's a Model H, so I'm, I, I'm pretty sure it's a 1947. Um, now, truth be told, I have actually taken the engine off and looked at it to see what kind of potential it's got uh, for running, and uh, we'll get to that a bit later. Of course, it had a skip tooth, uh, chain and sprocket so they're all skip tooth so it's, it's an old bike it also has the original I assume this was either compression release or clutch release I, I don't know why it's on this side I have to do more research and stuff about what these controls are but here's the original control mechanism that came with the wizard kit of course that would have been on here one's throttle I think one's actually compression release one's throttle uh, came with a Lubricator. Here's the other Coke bottle grip. Like I said, they're hard as a rock. You can, <laughs> you can hear them. Uh, there's the original rear drive belt. Here's the, the belt guard for the front. Uh, what else is there? Yeah, it's missing the rear stand, but it had the drop up stand or the drop down stand that, uh, of course, just clipped in here and still got the, the races for it on the, uh, <laughs> on the axle. Sadly, it's also missing the exhaust pipe. They had like a flex pipe that would go underneath and stuff and, and sadly I don't have that. But I do have the header so we can figure something out if we do get it running. That actually brings me to something else. Being an original wizard, I thought, you know, this thing should really be preserved like how it is. However, I decided since the engine was only held on by one, uh, one nut, I decided let me take it off. Take the side cover off, see what it looks like inside. It's probably completely rusted and gone. So I did. I took it off, and lo and behold, it was actually beautiful in there. The bore and everything of the cylinder wall was absolutely gorgeous. Um, the crankshaft spun over freely. This bearing is frozen, so once I took the cover off, of course it spun over. Um, but. I mean, it was, it was in beautiful shape. Someone, I'm sure, tried messing with it after it stopped running once in its life, uh, when it was close in this condition. I think someone tried to mess with it and get it running again, but uh, I think they failed because the timing gear was 180 degrees off. <laughs> so I think they kind of gave up and, you know, kind of put everything in plastic bags. Thankfully, the guy that sold it to me actually had the plastic bags still full of parts. So he had valves, he had, uh, of course, valve springs, he had the push rods, he had uh, the piston rings, the piston, the crank, everything. So uh, what I did off the, uh, off the camera is I actually put everything back together where it's a spin-overable, you know, movable engine. Uh, of course, it's not running at the moment. That actually brings me to my question to you guys about this bike. I'm gonna put a poll up on my YouTube uh, channel and I wanted to see if you guys say, don't touch it, don't touch it at all. 
because we could then put it on a stand. We were gonna put it up on this this uh, <laughs> this tree trunk, you know, take all this stuff off and have it up there for display. Or do you think this thing has enough potential where we could get it running? I have a feeling that it would be quite easy to get running. I even found a, uh, I got a spark out of the points and everything by just turning it over with a drill. So, and it's got compression too. So I, I feel like I'm leaning towards the get it running state, but at the same time, I need your guys' opinion. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this uh, cool little episode and I'll talk to you guys next time. Let me know. Goodbye.